Speaking of mental institutes, yeah. have you ever studied some of the messed up things that they did? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's um, insane. Lobotomies. Yeah. Um, they would use them for, like, testing of different drugs and all these things. Yep. And then they would legitimately, like, if they acted up, they would put them in, like, this quiet room. Which like? They, yeah. Which they would basically tie them up. Yeah. Keep them in there for just weeks upon weeks at a time. In a solitary confinement. Yeah. And Where am I missing? I don't know there are many of the jewels. What? And then, I don't know where they are. Oh, okay. And then they would just randomly be like, well, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working. It's like, well, maybe because you're confining Altering them people. Here. Yeah, like, what are you yeah. expecting here? Oh, yeah, and there were plenty of, uh, there were plenty of people who would go missing. Yeah, that was the other weird thing. Yeah, you'd have, like, relatives come in and be like, hey, where's my, my grandpa? Or, I don't know. And it'd be like, uh... How do you so the missing there? ones are up there. And how do I get there? Um... I don't remember, actually. Well, okay, you need to go there. Try speed running. So actually, wait a minute. So the one that's right there is not the one that you have to get to. I think you have to somehow get to the other one. And then you jump to that. I'm confused. I'm letting you play for a minute, because I don't know where I'm going. Okay. <clears throat> well, maybe I know where I'm going. Yeah, there was a lot of really messed up stuff that happened in those places. It's really weird. I, I agree. There's... You told me that you're going to watch Supernatural eventually, right? Eventually, yeah. There is a really good episode in Supernatural. I don't know if it's... I think it's in season one, and it's about insane asylums. Yeah. And they go to a haunted insane asylum, which, by the way, I believe that there, that there are some places that are haunted. Yeah. And I think that... Oh, you missed one. I think that would be a place, like an insane asylum, would definitely, oh, definitely be somewhere definitely. that's haunted. And they go to an insane asylum where a doctor had been performing experiments on people, like surgeries. Yeah. So they had been performing lobotomies and all this other stuff and studying what it did to people. And it was people that would go missing. So it would be like, oh, you know, no one's going to miss uh, Tim, you know, this patient right. who doesn't have any surviving family. No one will miss him, so then Tim goes missing, and they find these bones of all these people Jeez. in this back room, where it's like basically a blocked off laboratory behind the guy's office, yeah. where he'd been doing all this sick stuff to people. Jeez. But the scary thing is, there's real stuff like that in American history. And if you look up American black labs, and I don't mean the dog, I mean like the actual, there were black labs in America run around the time of World War II, they were doing some of the same stuff that the Nazis did. Yeah, totally. They were doing eugenics, and they were killing people, and torturing them, and cutting their brains open, and testing on them. Yeah. Um, it's some of the most immoral, messed up stuff you could ever think of. Um, and a lot of them have been destroyed, but mm -hmm. they have found some. Yeah, I, th I think there is a reason why after when we liberated Nazi Germany, a lot of the Americans actually took in a lot of the Nazi scientists. Yes. Now, some of it was for just legitimate science. Yeah, like, I think NASA was a big... Yeah. NASA was really helped by the uh, influx of German scientists. How right. How do we get there? But I think there was some of it that was for reasons like that. Can you, can you charge from here? That's what I was going to try to do. Okay. Yeah, I... Yeah, it's just a lot of weirdly messed up stuff when it comes to insane asylums. I think that's, I think what, that's what it is. And actually one of my biggest fears is being in an insane asylum. Because there's no way to get out unless they say that you can get out. Would you self-delete if you're put in an insane asylum? <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? I would, yes. I would too. Well, and Look, I'm just being careful because daddy is watching. Right. You know? Yeah, there's a movie I watched. I don't remember what it was called, but it came out recently. And, like, in the last five years. And it's basically about this girl who goes semi-insane. Like, she's not insane. Is it unsane? Is yeah, yeah. That's I haven't seen is. that. I want it's to. Is weird. it good? No. It's scary? Yeah, because... Wait, wait. Is it a good movie, but it bothered you? Or you also thought it was a bad movie? It was, it was a good movie. Okay. It just bothered me. But yeah. it's basically about this girl who is, like, semi-insane. She wasn't insane. Yeah, the one who was getting stalked. Yeah. And she ended up in this insane asylum and she was not crazy on any level 
but they kept saying she was. Right. And any and they kept like forcing this medicine. I think the last level was just blowhard. They kept forcing all this Don't medicine on do. her and all these things like that. And anytime she would even act up or speak up about it or say anything to anyone, they would just be like, well, she's just insane. We got to keep her here. You know, look at all these times that she went uh, violent. You know what I mean? Yeah. They would just do all these weird... And they would do whatever they wanted to keep her there. And... Thank you, Spyro, for you don't want to go here. Hop aboard for the beast makers. Would you like to go? Do stay here. And... I was trying to shoot him. It eventually ended up being that they wanted her insurance money. Wait, we were spoiling the movie now? Oh. What about when I want to watch Unsane? Sorry, I forgot about it. <laughs> That's matter, I care. Okay, sorry. Oh, like, I say, oh, I want to watch that movie. I'm and sorry, I forgot immediately that. Immediately like, sorry, I, hey, here's the yeah. ending of the movie. Okay, well, I'm saying, like, now it's out of the open, so I can just talk about it. Okay. It's just they kept her in there because they wanted her insurance money. Okay. But the point of it was they basically did whatever they wanted, and they said whatever they wanted to keep her in there. And then actually, they did... That actually ended up making her more insane. Right. And there was one of the doctors that, like, was weirdly stalking her in there. And it was... Like, he would actually, like, drug her... And it never really showed it in the movie, but it's kind of implied that he, like, raped her. Oh! And it's just really... It's really messed up, and... The reason why that scares me is because... If the people in the mental hospitals just said one day, Hey, this Nate guy is insane. Most people would just believe them. Right. Because they're the doctors, right? Right. They're the doctors that interviewed me or something and we're like yeah this guy's insane he needs to be in here and everyone would just believe them because again they're the doctor and basically what it comes down to is they can just say whatever they want they can do whatever they want and you're just stuck in there like you are literally stuck in there right and you can't do anything about it and if you try acting up they silence you basically I don't know. It's just like, it's one of my fears. Like, I just get so scared. <laughs> well, you know what will make you feel better? What? Anybody can fake not being crazy who is. And you can have uh, outside evaluations from other doctors as long as you have surviving family. Yeah. Now, if it was just you, sure. But, like, let's say that you were... Hey, this guy's name's Altair. Oh, that's cool. Let's say that you were institutionalized and Jess was still around. Yeah. So were your parents. They could go to the institution and say, hey, we're next of kin. We are technically the legal guardians of this guy. Uh, we want another opinion. Right. And have another doctor that's not associated with, the, with that clinic uh, evaluate your sanity. Yeah. Dang it. Why does that happen all the time? It's like I missed the jumps by a frame. Obviously, you're not a speedrunner, because every frame is important. Apparently. Yeah, I don't know. So it's... I don't think it's a... I, it's a legitimate fear, but I don't think it's something you really have to worry about. It's, also... It's not a fear. Like, I I don't think I'm going to be in a insane asylum, because why would I? Well, also, I can think of probably a dozen people... What the okay, heck? Really? I can't go through that guy? I guess not. What am I supposed to do? Shoot him in the air? I think you have to... Wait till the rock moves back towards him, shoot him, and then jump across. Or sorry, fire breath him, not shoot him. Thank you. That's really dumb. Yeah. Wow. There you go. It's a very important tactic. There you go. Wow. See, really we got is. it. We got wow, it. Wow. We awesome. got it. It's okay here. <sighs> is it? Oh, I know what the trophy is for this. The trophy is to collect all the gems. That's it? Yeah. I remember that one. Oh. Okay. Well, Very easy you. trophy. Yeah, no kidding. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's a lot of just scary stuff that... Well, I think the medical professionals have too much power in some of those ways. Yeah, and that's the thing, is that... I know a lot of people would say, well, they're doctors. They would never do that. Yeah, they would. <laughs> if, if the price is right, people would do anything. Well, that's very cynical, but I, mean, I think there's sad. a lot of people that would. It's sad, but if the price is right, there are a lot of people that would do
do anything. Well, also... Like, they I, would gladly lie to be like, well, let's get that insurance money. Well, I... Am I done here? Yeah, yeah. I'm done here. I think you I, got the trophy. I also would say that uh, plenty of doctors have taken the Hippocratic Oath and then done terrible things. Right. So it's not like the oath is like, you took the oath. Now, if you break the oath, you'll instantly drop dead. Right. That's just not how it works. Do you, though? I don't. No. Can I you, can you, you explain did. it? <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Why do we got Electro over here? We've got Hillbilly Electro. Hillbilly Electro. These guys are really annoying. I feel like that oh. guy got bullied in high school. <laughs> I feel like he should have. Wait, you missed something back there. No, I didn't. Okay. I'm rescuing Bruno Mars here. <laughs> He'd catch a grenade for you. Take a picture. <laughs> Too late. Now there's like words on the screen. I don't care anymore. Why don't you care? You gotta take pictures without the words. Are words not there? Important? There. I did. Oh, I, clicked, I clicked the button. I clicked the button. It was too late. What did I miss? It. What did I miss? Nothing. It's gone now. It left. It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't it's even gone. matter anymore. You ruined the playthrough. <laughs> Might as well just quit here. Go play something else. I'm so sorry. Like, dog like, of duty. Can we create a level in Doom? <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Well, now we're, at, and now we're entering you Terrace okay? Village. <laughs> no, you okay? I'm, no, I'm... <laughs> I haven't been okay in a long time. It's been 24 years since I've been okay. Well, what about those other days but between that? I've been, so I've, okay. I've been okay then. You were okay for like 150 days. Yeah. Okay. I was okay then, but not now. Well, I can't wait till it's your birthday so everybody on the channel can, like, hear the lead-up to your birthday every single day. <laughs> hey, did you know it's my birthday in a week? Hey, hey birthday coming up. Hey, did you know it's my up. birthday in two weeks? My you birthday. did that so much in high school. Yeah, what's the problem here? It's just another day. Not and for in me. In fact, it would have been better if you weren't born. Not. Well, okay, then. Look, hey, I'm just I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. <laughs> okay, not okay, uh, Captain we, Rex. No, He's we, not thinking we this. Took a, we took a survey here on the channel. Okay. And the survey was, what survey would you says, like to see in the next Let's Play? Would you like to see Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, or Nate Never Should Have Been Born? Those were the options. Did everyone everyone clicked Nate the third should, one. Okay. There was one person that picked Sly Cooper. Who I, was that one person? The developer of Sly Cooper. Oh, okay. Did my mother come on and vote? Yeah, she voted for You Shouldn't Have Been Born. Oh, okay. You did miss something back there. It must have been an accident, then. It must have I, was, been. I was never told this information. That's okay. What I miss? Aren't we all? Oh, it wasn't there something over there? No. No. Ne That's water. Never mind. It looked like gems. Sorry. It looked like Jen. Sorry, I'm trying to help you out. Well, stop. You're right. I'm so sorry. I could play the game on what my own. What the heck are those guys? Uh, they're what the heck is that? This guy? Yeah. Are these like glory holes? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> For dragons or something? This is nasty Nork's glory hole. <laughs> I took a picture, don't worry. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, does nasty Nork seem kind of like a racial slur or something? No. Oh, okay. He seems like a guy that'd be into some really kinky stuff though like oh, some pretty yeah. nasty stuff yeah wait who's this guy's name i didn't see claude nice wow so cool <laughs> does anyone care about these guys no they do nothing for the story oh look at these like uh hieroglyphs yeah that's oh cool. man it's almost like the egyptians were here so i think in the spiral lore yeah the egyptians oh, actually oh. yeah the egyptians actually s inhabited this area Okay. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Uh, that's my lore. I'm really happy about the <laughs> lore we got here. Is there a supercharge somewhere? I remember this trophy, so I have to get that, and then there's two other rockets, and you have to do that in under like 10 seconds. So you have to shoot all of them. Where are they? They're up on top of these things. I know, I know how to get them. Oh, okay. Well, all I care about is you get me the trophy. I don't care about the game. Understandable. Oh, you nice. care about me. No. I you, care about what you can do for me. You're just That's using it. me for uh for trophies. For trophies. That's it. And gameplay. For digital accomplishments and gameplay. <laughs> Understandable. This guy's like party rocking. What? 
<laughs> I've heard that kind of right. oh, <laughs> forever. Wow. I find it funny with LMFAO. They may, they released it. Ah. Uh, what? what? It cut out randomly. Why? I don't know. I think maybe because I'm so low on space. I don't know what it is. But what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. I know a guy that can help you drain the swamp. <laughs> is it Onision? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you hear about that? No. Okay, I'm gonna just say allegedly. It's, okay. It's just kind of funny because Onision has gotten allegedly in a lot of trouble, allegedly, hypothetically, for possibly hypothetically, allegedly, in, your opinion. in my opinion, draining, uh, draining wet or like messing with wetlands that technically are protected by, uh, I don't know if it's the city or the state or what, but basically you can't mess with them yeah like it's a what's he doing to them I, I don't actually know what happened specifically so you know obviously all my opinion allegedly but my understanding is that essentially it was just land that he wasn't supposed to mess with and he was trying to reform some of the land or mess with the trees or whatever he was trying to terraform I don't know maybe I don't really know how that stuff works but I just found the meme funny I made an Animal Crossing reference there. One of my favorite memes is him in that elevator. I don't remember that one. It's like him standing with a with sunglasses on and a oh, suit no. jacket in an elevator. <laughs> and some people added in who was that girl who went missing and they found Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, yeah. The yep. one they found in the water? Yep. Jug or whatever. Some people added that into the meme. Oh no. <laughs> now that version I'm not saying is my favorite. I'm just saying him in the elevator is, but there are several different versions of that meme and that one makes me feel bad to know it exists. <laughs> That's horrible. I That's just watched, really funny. I just watched something about that. It's so weird. Do you have any like weird conspiracies around that? I think she was murdered. Yeah? What's yeah. your what's your reasoning? Well, I don't why why would she climb in the water? Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Okay. But... I mean, it, it has happened, actually, by the way. People have committed self-deletion that way. Right. But, um... From what I understood, like, those hatches are really heavy. Yeah, they I don't are. know if she could have opened that on her own. Well, she didn't seem like that big of a girl, either. There's also... Yeah, she was scrawny. There's also the fact that she was um, terrified before it happened. And people are saying, like, it was a mental break. But it seemed like she was being followed by somebody right and was scared um i also think that a lot of girls go missing and end up dead or in trafficking in hotels when they're yep. by themselves that's actually one of the highest areas for it yeah so to me it just seems i don't want to say like no brainer because it's happened before but it seems much more plausible Right. Because of that, that she was murdered. I also just watched a thing. Do you need silence while you do this? No. It's just right here. I also that just watched the trophy. a thing. Um, oh, you, oh, yeah. Nice. I just watched a thing. The thing. The thing. Uh, about a girl who went missing on a Disney cruise ship. Really? Yeah. And uh, then she was seen. Did you see those things up there, yeah, by the way? You, you have yeah, to like, go around. I have to get back. Okay. Um. So, she went missing on a Disney cruise ship, and I guess since then she has been spotted, or someone who looks like her has been spotted in Europe being trafficked. The heck? Yeah. That's terrible. Yes, actually. Well, was this like a little girl? Mm, she was like 20. Oh, so... Still terrible. Yeah. But no, it wasn't a child. Um, it was somebody's child, like the right. parents are right. still around, right. and they right. they've tried to figure it out and all that stuff. But I just yeah, didn't know. I just didn't kid. know if it was like the parents were there, uh, no, or something. No, and yeah, it's it's real messed up that kind of stuff that happens on on some of these things, especially to younger women. Right. Um, not that it can't happen to a man, but it's like statistically much it's less likely rare. to happen to a man. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know what to think about that woman, though, in the, the video, the conspiracy video. Be I feel like I should look up the name, because I, I want to know what it was. Because I kind of think she was murdered, too, mm -hmm. because, like we have said, she was very scared in the elevator, and yes, she could have been having a nervous breakdown, but I feel like if someone's having a nervous breakdown... Why 
Now, I guess I don't know this because I've never had a nervous breakdown, but why, why would someone's first option to be go to the roof? Yeah. Which, by the way, the door was locked. Was it? Yes. Hmm. And the people with the key were like the janitor staff, like the, and like the hotel management and stuff like that. It was uh, Elisa Lamb. Yeah, that's what it was. Well, can I also mention, by the way, do you have any other reasoning that you want to... Well, and... So, if she's having a mental breakdown, why would she go up there and then hop into a water tank, which, again, like you said, is heavy. Yeah. And I feel like that would be kind of hard for her to get open on her own. Yes, it would not be easy. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just seems really weird. Convenient? Yeah, convenient to me. Yeah, there's also a lot of easier ways to go. Right, like she could have... She could have jumped. Right. If she got to the roof, why didn't she jump? Well, exactly. Why, why would she, she go in there? Why would she go in the water tank and shut it? Also, yeah. why would she shut it? Well, exactly. And I think if you are actually trying to murder someone... Do we have all the things? We're missing 11 somewhere. Dang it. Oh, maybe it was one of those things oh, you wait. shot? Here's something. Oh, I feel like if you're trying to murder someone, you're going to try to hide the body for basically as long as possible, right? Yeah. Now, I mean, there are ways to get around it, but it's kind of hard in today's day and age. Well, you'd have to, to do a piece at a time. Well, exactly. In a lot of ways and spread them out. Uh... Well, I'm just saying it is hard to fully, like, conceal a body yeah. in today's day and age. Yeah. Because there's so much, like, identity and stuff like that, like... People would notice if someone went missing is kind of what I'm saying. A lot of the times, and yeah, and, and also... And it's easier to find Forensic stuff. crime scene yeah. stuff. But, so if you're trying to actually murder someone, I feel like you're going to try to hide the body for basically as long as you possibly can. Yes. Because the longer that is hidden, the less likely you are to be caught. Yes. Can so, I also point something out? Not to sensationalize the story at all, because it is somebody's life. Yeah. This happened at the Cecil, Cecil Hotel. Yeah. This is considered one of the hotels where a lot of crimes have allegedly happened. I mean, aren't they documented? Do they're I doc they're documented. You don't have to say that. Okay. What is, um, is a hotel going to sue you? I don't know, dude. Everybody <laughs> wants to sue everybody now. It's okay. like you look at someone wrong and they're like, like suing so you for assault. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's just interesting that this happened at the Cecil Hotel. I believe that a few serial killers stayed there at one point. Yeah. It's just crazy. I... I I don't know if there was a supernatural element to it, but it's weird how all kinds of stuff happens there or has over the years. Um, yeah. And it makes me wonder a little bit if, not like The Shining, maybe that's a stupid thing to say, but almost in a way like that, if the hotel is just bad yeah. or the ground or the area or whatever is just bad. Like even if it doesn't cause bad things, there are areas in the world that seem to output negative energy yeah and maybe it draws in certain types of people um it's more welcoming to those types of people i guess is what i'm trying to say i'm not trying to say that the people who own the hotel are bad or right. like anything like that i mean it seems like they handled it in a responsible way to my understanding and also um they've really tried to clean up that hotel's image over the last couple decades right but it's just weird how much well, bad stuff has happened around there and i think that a lot of it has to do with i've actually known i've actually read stories of that hotel for a while was one of the hubs for like witches and stuff like that to stay there huh so it i wouldn't be surprising to me if maybe some dark energies were in that hotel. What's that weird though to me is there are witches and Wiccans that never experience any of that stuff. Right. Like that are just nice people. I'm not yeah. saying I, you know, like subscribe to their religious beliefs or whatever. Right. But that are just like genuinely nice people that don't output negative energy on everybody. And right. Don't. But you're saying that maybe somebody stayed there that well, was exactly. messing with that maybe stuff. Maybe some that... or multiple or yeah. whatnot. It just seems like there was a lot of different kind of people. Yeah. And... Um, we should look up the Cecil Hotel for next time we record. Okay. And talk about it more. Yeah, there are just some... ran by some stuff. Yeah, right now I'm actually looking for some... Oh, you're talking over there? No, no, no. Look right here. There's there's a gem you're walking by. Oh. You just got it. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Well, right now I'm looking for those mushrooms. Oh, okay. Because there's I... a trophy for burning five of these on this world. Okay, well, once you get those, we can just stop. Yeah. Because I think we're pretty... Right. Pretty deep, pretty deep in there. 
Yeah, we should look up the Cecil Hotel and talk about that. It's yeah. really weird. Yeah, and I just, I don't know. And I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not attacking witches or Wiccans or whatever. I'm, that's well, not neither point. of us agree with yeah, that, and that the yeah. belief system. But I'm not, like, attacking them. Like, that's not the point. It's just right. more... I think a lot of stuff gets memed on nowadays with people trying to summon demons and you know what I mean like they think well, there's it's like stuff a, people are messing with that they probably should well be. exactly like they think it's a trend like oh I just summon this demon but in my opinion that stuff is kind of real there is a crate down there too yeah that's one of those oh uh, charge ones yeah yeah I think and it's so like too. that stuff is real and I think if I think over the years if a lot of those people stayed at this hotel maybe not all of them are bad but what's to say that a couple of them weren't or weren't messing with things they don't understand. Well, exactly, and they called on some weird spirits to kind of mess with this hotel, well, and like the area and stuff like that. The other thing is, aren't there different types of um, witchcraft? So there's supposedly, I don't know how this works. I do believe that there's some magical energy in the world, Yeah. regardless. Like, I think that you can go places and tell that there's like an energy there to it. People are gonna think I'm freaking nuts, right. by the way. But whatever, that's fine. <laughs> I think that's the trophy, by the way. Oh, nice. Um, I think there's places you can go to and tell that they have positive or negative energy, and I think that some of those energies are just from the planet. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's people who can channel that just from the planet. We yeah. know that our planet's a living organism. It's all one thing, and so many world religions are based on the idea of like all of one, circle of life, all this stuff, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some witches who are not calling on power from elsewhere, but using power in the world. Right. I don't know how that works, but I just wouldn't be surprised if that's a thing. However, there is another type of witchcraft as well, which is purposely drawing on the spiritual energy of spiritual beings yeah. outside of yourself, which genuinely in most other religions, including Islam and Christianity, would be things like jinn trying to interact with angels or demons yeah or or just spirits and most spirits you're going to interact with there's a reason that they would still be on earth right otherwise they would have probably moved on so i just think it's kind of it's weird yeah it's kind of interesting it is interesting it's weird. There's, there's a lot to 